Hello, I'm Philip Duncan with your seven day Pacific Islands forecast brought to you by Weather Watch TV on YouTube. And all eyes are on Fiji today as Tropical Cyclone Mel heads towards uh, at least close to Viti Levu. Now, the tracking at the moment still has the storm just offshore. In fact, we've just seen in the last few hours, at least just when we went to record this video, that the intensity of the storm may actually increase a little bit tonight, might even get to category three. However, it's likely to be a little bit further west of the main island, which is some good news. Now, the coloring on this map today is the misery index. The reason why we have that up, that's its technical name, by the way, um, the misery index, it shows in red, 30 degrees plus. And so this is a lot of humidity coming down from the tropics, mixing with the slightly cooler air flows further to the south. So this is going to get wetter and windier over the next wee while, but the worst of the winds are just in this area here, not so much further out, uh, although it can be blustery with gales in that zone. So let's take a look at the latest tracking. Uh, like I say, the Fiji Met Service and the American modeling here are very, very similar. The only slight difference is the American modeling says category three by tonight when this storm comes in. Uh, the Fiji Met Service at the time of recording this was saying category two, but that could still change. Uh, now the path has pretty much been that for the last few days. It has actually moved a little bit further to the west overnight. Naturally, quite often these storms want to pull the other way, but this far north, um, it's a little bit like a, a spinning top. You know, it spins perfectly as you can see there, but if you watch a spinning top or a coin, it can sometimes just do a little bit of a zigzag, a jog, and that's what might happen. This storm could come in and at the last minute it might jog closer to Fiji. So that's why you need to pay very close attention to it. So this is how we look this afternoon, three o'clock Fiji time, 4 p.m. for New Zealand, and not too bad for now across Fiji. It'll just be the usual showers, and you'll notice that more humid northeasterly winds starting to develop. Now, by three o'clock tomorrow morning, this is when we expect the storm to most likely be at its strongest point. Now, that could still move around half a day or so, but just generally, that's what we think. The air pressure may, may also go lower than what you see just there, but the current thinking a little bit unusual to see all the heavy rain on the western side. Usually it's out here on the southeastern side. So that's a little bit of good news for Fiji. But for now, at least based on this modeling, it shows the worst of the weather offshore from Nandi, which is some good news. Very close though. And like I said, it only has to jog 50 kilometers or so eastwards. And it's a very different story for VT Levu. Now here we are at lunchtime tomorrow. So the worst of the storm now, well south of Viti Levu, it should be uh, not as windy as you get into the afternoon and the wind's changing direction more to a westerly. You'll also notice up here that purple means over 100 millimetres of rain. So we could be seeing you know, a few hundred millimetres of rain along the mountains and ranges as the cyclone tracks by. Now this is lunchtime Wednesday, same view. Uh, but bigger picture, and now we get to see all the other islands in here, and certainly uh, it is moving away from land as we go through Wednesday afternoon. Tonga, you'll notice more humidity uh, and a bit of rain and thunderstorm activity, but we're hoping for the most part the cyclone is offshore, but you just have to be aware that the sea conditions might be a little bit rough. So by Thursday, it is now well south of all of the major island groups, um, and even away from Raoul Island here in New Zealand, Tonga, like I say, you're just a little bit too far away, but the sea conditions could be pretty rough uh, pushing back as that storm tracks away. And elsewhere, just the usual thunderstorms. But you can certainly see how Cyclone Mel pulls that red line right down. You can see it gets hooked up in it. That's the humidity, the real, real tropical humidity that tropical cyclones uh, use to form. So by Friday, there's still some tropical energy in that storm, but it is falling apart. So New Zealanders don't have to worry about it. Norfolk Island, New Caledonia, Vanuatu, none of you really are in the concerning side of it, although Vanuatu will have some rain and some dangerous uh, swells building. But Friday's not too bad, and that humidity in Tonga will start to ease. As we go into Saturday, that red line is moving further up the uh, Tongan Island group. So you'll find just a slightly more refreshing change coming through on Saturday. Not too bad across Rarotonga. You got a few showers in the mix and out towards Tahiti, not too bad as well. And it stays that way on Sunday. In fact, pretty quiet right across the group. Norfolk Island, 
you'll be noticing that southerly, so might Noumea, as that uh, slight southerly change comes in around the big high pressure zone. And then Monday of next week, again, pretty quiet, maybe a few more downpours around the Tahiti area. Otherwise, this is looking a lot quieter, although the rain returns to Honiara and the Solomon Islands. Let's have a look at the Northern Hemisphere now. Honolulu, you've got, uh, for the next week ahead, plenty of showers. Northern Hemisphere is going to get stormier now. You'll be seeing more uh, stormy systems out of uh, Japan and up towards the Aleutian Islands, Alaska, and the Pacific Northwest of America and into Canada, British Columbia. So plenty of stormy stuff around there, but Hawaii itself is on the outer edges of most of that weather. So let's have a last look at the rainfall for the next seven days ahead. The easiest way to make sense of this, where do you see the purple and the blue? This part here, where do you see that? That's where the heavy rain is. So you can see the line here of heavy rain. Uh, you can see the cyclone, Mal, tracking past Fiji and Tonga. Hopefully most of Fiji missing the worst of the rain, but like I said, it's very close. And again, Honolulu, Hawaii, not looking too wet. So there's also another tropical storm over here. There's actually a couple of them forming. There were three of them that all formed when Mel developed. Uh, and obviously they're Northern Hemisphere, so they're heading off in that direction. So overall, it's not looking too bad, despite a tropical cyclone in the mix. But for those in Fiji, I know I keep saying this, but we're just showing you the computer modeling as of the time we recorded this on Tuesday morning, it could still change. So please do stay up to date with the Fiji Met Service. And we'll also be providing extra details at uh, our, well, I was going to call it Twitter, but X website, Weatherwatch NZ on, well, let's just call it Twitter so you know what I'm talking about. And uh, we'll put some of those tweets up on the Weatherwatch website as well. Stay safe in Fiji, and we'll be seeing you again one week from now with our next seven day Pacific Islands weather update.